In this video, I show the location, replacement, and operation of a pyrofuse within a Tesla battery pack. So one thing that happens every time the airbags go off, the uh, pyrofuse goes off in these things. So what you have to do is remove the rear seat. There's a bunch of brackets on there. And you have to take the oil pan off, which is this big aluminum cover with some fancy five-point torch bolts in there. Get that cover off. And then you zoom inside here, and then this is the guy we need to replace right here. It's called Pyrofuse. What happens when the airbags deploy when the SRM module detects a crash, there's an explosive charge in there that breaks apart the, uh, the bar for the fuse, therefore opening the fuse, and then all the contactors are open, and then no power is able to travel through the battery. So yeah, this is the inside of the battery underneath the seat. This is your power input from your charger. Those are the contactors. This is a negative side contactor, positive side contactors on the other side, the DC loads, and then just the electronic controls for when the char charger is plugged in. There's the coolant lines that flow in and out of the battery. Another coolant line over there goes out on that side. This battery management system on top, main BMS. And that's the whole charging unit right there. That sits right on top of that. It's your built-in charger power supply out for uh, 12 volt on that side post there post a couple more fuses there never seen those go but so yeah the main thing is swapping out this uh, pyro fuse so it's 13 millimeter bolt zap out two bolts drop new fuse in replace fuse and off you go so there we go zap out that fuse don't have to worry about power there's only 400 480 volts in this thing but it doesn't bother me there's no power to this thing when this thing is off but, but yeah that's what the power fuse looks like dump the screws out on this thing on the bench that's the connectors for the charge right here I have one that's been blown it's the cavity where the, where the bar the bus bar goes in there gets blown apart this piece here just basically gets sheared in half inside opening it up opening all current to the vehicle and then the vehicle basically shuts down at that point there you go another quick little vid here I thought I'd show the power fuse and how this thing works like I said basically there's an explosive charge in this thing that sits between the main power conductors within the battery what happens is there's a charge that's connected here and it's connected to the SRM module with the safety restraint module. And in a collision, if at any time it deploys airbags, this thing is fired and it, uh, it blows off that connection. And as you can see here, what it does is it, the charge basically blows this contactor plate in half. So as you can see where the burn mark is so yeah normally this is a flat plate joined together but like I said when she's deployed the charge burns this connection blows it apart within within inside the case and you can see the powder burns from the charge in there and then that's where the cap is in the cover so when that blast takes place it goes boom it opens up this fuse it's all it is, is a giant fuse but it's a it's a pyro fuse so pyrotechnics <laughs> anyways that's so it opens up the power in the system so when, as soon as there's a crash power is cut to the entire vehicle by the deployment of this uh, pyro fuse there you go thanks for watching